Uh, okay. Let's get started. We got day four scratch cards. Uh, the gondola takes you up. Strangely, though, the ground doesn't seem to be coming with you. You're not climbing a mountain. As the circle of Snow Island recedes below you, an entire new landmass suddenly appears above you. The gondola carries you to the surface of a new island and lurches into the station. As you exit the gondola, the first thing you notice is that the air here is much warmer than it is on Snow Island. It's also quite humid. Is this where the water source is? The next thing you notice is an elf sitting on the floor across the station in what seems to be a pile of colorful square cards. Oh, hello. The elf excitedly runs over to you. How may I be of service? You ask about the water sources. Oh, I'm not sure. I just operate the gondola lift. That does sound like something we'd have, though. This is Island Island, after all. I bet the gardener would know. He's on a different island, though. Or the small kind, surrounded by water, not the floating kind. We really need to come up with a better naming scheme. Tell you what, if you can help me with something quick, I'll let you borrow my boat. Oh, sick. And you can go visit the gardener. I got all these scratch cards as a gift, but I can't figure out what I've won. Oh boy. The elf leads you over to a pile of colorful cards. There you discover dozens of scratch cards, all with their opaque covering already scratched off. Picking one up, looks like each card has two lists of numbers separated by a vertical bar. We got a list of winning numbers and then a list of numbers that you have. You organize this information into a table. Aha. Uh -huh. You have to figure out which of the numbers you have appear in the list of winning numbers. The first match makes the card worth one point, and each match after the first doubles the point value of that card. Wowee. So this is what we're working with. I think we want to read this line by line. So we do, uh... Okay. We're reading line by line. Let's... Let's squeeze those spaces because this is this is a little strange. Okay, now we can cut the uh, those fields. Okay, so all we have to do here is actually pretty pretty gross. Oh, this is so goofy. So we're actually just gonna bang it into one line. It doesn't matter whether it's a, a winning number or not, and then we're gonna replace the uh, the spaces with new lines course let's throw a break in here so we're just doing one set and then then it gets silly we sort n and we do unique so we only get the uh repeated lines so this tells us how many numbers we have so that's this is uh this is how many winning numbers we have per thing so how do we turn this into a math expression It's like two to the this minus one. But then it's also like we need a check. We need a special case zero. Yeah, we could just grab the zero. So we get, what is it? Eight, two, two, one. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 13. Okay, now let's get our input. Oh, geez. This is a lot bigger. So we switch this to input, 23,750. All right, we got one star. <laughs> All right, let's read. Just as you're about to report your findings to the elf, one of you realizes that the rules have actually been printed on the back of every card this whole time. Oh no, Ugh. there's no such thing as points. Instead, scratch cards only cause you to win more scratch cards equal to the number of winning numbers you have. Wait, what? Specifically, you win copies of the scratch cards below the winning card. Oh, no. Oh, dear. So if card 10 were to have five matching numbers, you would win one copy each of cards 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Huh? You buy a scratch card and it's like, well, you, you got the numbers right, but it was your last one, so you actually get nothing. <laughs> like what? The only thing you can possibly win is more worthless scratch cards. They don't they don't actually give you anything. I think I need to do some pre-processing to understand how many cards I have. Okay, we're going to have an array cards. 
I want to keep track of how many how many of a given card I have. Count equals let's call this file file sample.txt. So cards we'll initialize these to one because we start off with one of each card and then we'll say do winners or wins i guess start at i1 oh because i need to i need to loop over from okay let's make this j j equals i less than count and uh less than or equal to i plus wins oh i don't know exactly how to plus plus this can i do it like this okay okay so this is how many of each card we have oh it's gotta be it's gotta be i plus one here no we can't have five of card one that doesn't that doesn't track oh cards j Okay, we've got one of that one, two of that one, three of that one. But we need to multiply this by... It's going to plus equal cards. Hey, we did it. We literally just have to do this. And then we get 30. All right. Solved. That's a big number. I don't know if that's right. Okay, we're done. <laughs> she does it first try every time. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just they make them, they need to make them harder. I don't know why they do this. 